Hi, this is Mike J. Welcome back to the channel. What I want to show you here, guys, today is a Lotus. It's a used one. I happen to be driving by at Yates, uh, Buick, GMC in Goodyear, because I work in Goodyear, and I happen to saw this sitting out front. Supercar, right? No, it's a Lotus. Anyways, this is kind of like McLaren's type of a thing, right? It's got shapes of it, but I'm sure it's no McLaren. But anyways, this isn't something that you see every day. In fact, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about these, although I know it is a Lotus, but I think they probably taken it on trade. You guys could probably tell me more about this car than I know about this car. But anyways, I just thought I'd, you know, come and do a video on it because we don't see these type of cars that much. In fact, none at all on the west part of town because we see the Corvettes, we see high dollar cars, but just not these miniature, shall I say, semi um, exotic cars. But anyways, uh, this is a Lotus. Like I said, you guys saw the, uh, um, the Maroni sticker on there. And um, seems like a little sweet little car. Kind of reminds me of like those Alfa Romeo 4Cs, but I'm sure it's zippy, whip it around the corner, you know, it's one of those type of cars. But anyways, uh, yeah, and you know, I'm sure the engine is, yeah, the engine is mounted in the back. And uh, take a look at the inside of it. Yeah, just like almost a uh, Alfa Romeo 4C, you know, except this is finished off a lot nicer than the 4C, that's for sure. Now, I'm not sure if this has a, a monocoque tub in it or not, but anyways, uh, you know, it's something that you do not see every day, that's for sure. And it looks like it could be used as daily. I mean, it don't sit very low to the ground. It's got, you know, one single exhaust coming out of the back, but actually it's two pipes that goes into one, I believe. Anyways, uh, it's sweet. We don't see that many lotuses here in Phoenix. You know, sometimes I'm in North Scottsdale and I really still don't see all that many of these. But anyways, uh, this car is over here at Yates Pontiac, uh, not Pontiac, what am I saying? It used to be a Pontiac dealership too, but it's Buick GMC. No more Pontiacs at Yates. And uh, we have a salesman here. Hi guys. Michael, can you tell us a little bit more about this Lotus? Uh, well, we just got it in as a trade-in. A guy stepped up to a big truck. Very rare car out here on the west. Uh, it's a luxury sports car. It's going for about 59000 even. Uh, we're a one price store, so we don't haggle. That's How much are you selling this car for? 59000 59000 yeah. Because I know this has only got like 4,000 miles on yep. it. Yeah. Yeah, you used to uh, sell Pontiac as well, right? Yep. There's Pontiac, uh, GMC, and then yep. Buick, right? Yep. Yeah. This is just GMC yeah. and Yeah, Buick yeah, store. yeah. Yeah, because I know that uh, Pontiac and Buicks were a lot of dealerships, some all their dealerships were mixed into one. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, we got Michael here, and he's a, a sales rep over here at Yates. Mm -hmm. But anyways, this is a rarity. $50,000, you could buy one of these, and you won't, you'd won't. you be the only one probably driving one, but everybody's going to have a C8 Corvette when they come out. But anyways, if you're interested in this car, I'll link the description down below, and then uh, you could check out the information if you want to purchase this car. Anyways, uh if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, comment, tap the notification bell for future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.